Wow! Callie, you have a lot of toys! Do you love toys? I really do! I have so many! Probably more than I need. I should give some away. Friends, have you ever given some of your old toys away? They might make someone else really happy! If you don't give them away, they just sit there. And then you forget about them. That's true. Oh, oh, that reminds me. My mom found this in the attic. Do you know what this is? It looks like a gray box. Yeah, it does. Well, have you ever wondered what your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles played with when they were kids? My mom says she played with this. What? I know, right? It just looks like a box. Let's try to figure out what it does. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. You can't bounce it. I opened this little door, but there isn't really enough room to carry anything in it. It's too heavy to wear as a backpack. Whoa! Well, friends, I asked my mom, and she said you use this thing to play video games. Oh, I really like video games. This video game machine is from such a long time ago. I'm sure all the games on here are super easy. You want to play? Yeah. Okay, game time. Oh, this is fun. Oops. No. I win. Let's play another game. Okay, game number two. Okay, this is fun too. Oh, no. I win again. I'm really good at these games. Want to try a game number three? Um, not really. I'm not having any fun. I'm gonna go take a chip break. I wonder, what did I do to make Chip need to take a break? I was really good at those games, and I kept winning. And kept talking about my winning. Hmm, why wouldn't that be fun? It was for me. Hmm, I'm sad that I upset my friend, but I'm not sure what I did wrong. I was just so happy I won. Maybe today's Bible story will help me understand what just happened. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Jesus spent a lot of time teaching people how to live for God. One day, Jesus decided to talk to the people about judging others. Judging means making a decision about someone or something. Judging can be bad if people judge others before they even know them, or when they aren't the right person or in the right place to judge. Jesus knew this and told the people not to judge others. Jesus gave an example using wood. Sawdust is a tiny bit of wood. A log is a large piece of wood, like a really big tree branch. Jesus said that it would not make sense for you to point out a piece of sawdust in your friends when you have a log in your own eye. Can you imagine? a whole log in your eye? Ouch! It would make more sense for you to take care of the log in your eye and then the sawdust in your friend's eye. What Jesus was saying is don't take time thinking and making decisions about the mistakes of others. Instead, you should work on fixing your own mistakes. Then you can help the other person. You see, Jesus wants us to be humble. Being humble means knowing that you can make mistakes too. When we are humble, we are in a much better place to help our friends. Jesus reminds us that instead of judging others, it's always good to be humble. Wowzers! I don't have a log in my eye. Ouch! But I don't think I did a good job of being humble. It must not have been very fun for Chip to hear about all my winning. I wasn't thinking about how he must have felt. Okay, chip break is over. Hey, Chip. I'm sorry I kept talking about winning. That wasn't very cool. I should have thought about how it might make you feel. Thanks, Callie. I forgive you. Do you want to try another game on this thing? I promise this time I'll be humble. What does humble mean? Oh, it basically means I should have thought about you instead of talking about how good I was at the game. Oh, then... I like being humble. Yeah, and then there's this plank in someone's eye and stuff. What? Anyway, but this time being humble and it will be more fun. 
It probably won't always be fun to be humble, but still... It's always good to be humble! Thanks for learning and growing with us, friends! Bye! Hebrews 13, 8 Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever.